G'day, how you doing? My name's Trevor. I thought about this idea on the way home. Um, I collect crouch reels, and anyway, you find sometimes with crouch reels, the backing plate doesn't come off. Well, instead of, I only just got this crouch reel last week. Instead of um, trying to, if you can see, where someone else tried to get attack it with a screwdriver there to undo it, or put it in vice, or um, hit it with a screwdriver. Uh, hit the screwdriver with a hammer to get the backing plate off. Totally stuff surreal. It's no good. What I do, what I find, what works is ne nearly all the time is see this little um, pin, thumb pin. What I do is gently. Run it around the inside edge there. I don't know if you can... Oh, yeah, now you can see. Clean all the gunk off that. Right? Right through, right around the edge. Right? Gently, don't need to scratch shit out of it. Just clean all the gunk out. Then, try giving it a twist with your hand. And if it comes off, also good. If it doesn't, I use a bit of CRC or WD-40. Where is it? Over here. WD-40. Give her a spray in where the finger hole is. Like so. And let it soak. Wipe the excess off because it'll get slim a bit slimy. And then give it a go. And if it comes off, which nine times out of ten, they'll come off. Then, once it's off like this, right, what you can do is Pop this out, give her a bit of grease or oil or something. I use Vaseline, haven't got any at the moment. Put her back in and screw the backing plate back on. Um, when screwing the backing plate back on, don't cross thread it and don't over tighten it, which a lot of people do. What I do is tighten it so it's finger tight and give it just a quarter of an inch back off loosen it off a bit and well i hope other people got videos like this about um servicing or maintenance of their old vintage fishing gear because you got to do it to make them last gives them a new lease of life all right that's me video have a good one good luck see you later bye